Hello, hello, Scrappy friends. Welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Today we are going to be working in our Keeping It Simple series. And to do that, I use the Creative Memories 101 Scrapbooking Ideas and Sketchbook. And if this is your first time um, here at my Keeping It Simple series, I um, have went through this book and there are several that I feel like are more on the simple side, which means that it has simple cuts, uh, maybe simple to put the page together, simple to create into a two page layout, anything like that fits into my category of keeping it simple. And the whole idea of doing more simple pages is basically so we could just get pages done. My goal is to scrap more in 24. I want to get some albums completed, get some pages done. So finding sketches that fit into that category are super helpful. And also these sketches can be easily uh, replicated over and over using different tools, different paper, and they wouldn't even look the same. Okay, so for today, we'll be working on page 26, which is this page right here. Now the book, if you have the book and you're following along, has all the measurements on, on here. Um, on, but most of these in the book are also on the blog. And I have linked the original blog post in the description above. But if you click on the blog post, you won't find these handy dandy um, measurements. I'm just going to hold that there for a second if anybody needs to take a quick screenshot. Simple cuts on this one. The back side is this chocolate brown. And I'm going to need a four inch cut. Okay, if you're doing a one page, then that's all you would need. But I'm going to do a two page. I'm not doing a mirror image, but I will need another four inch piece for the other side. And so that gave us three four inch pieces. So I'm going to show you the layout first, how they wanted us to put it together. I want to talk about that first so we can see how simple it is. So you take your one piece of um, pattern paper, or you can use cardstock or right into your album. And then I'm placing this four inch strip right over here to the right hand side. And that's the basic page layout. They brought in some mat cards to make this layout super simple. They brought in a four by six journaling card and put it right here. Our strip is four inches. So this would fit right there. Now I know my this is just a sample and I know they're going horizontally, but just to show you what they did. In fact, we can turn it over if we can look a little bit easier. So you could save paper if you wanted to and cut this down, but I'm not going to do that today. But that's the idea. It should fit perfectly right in there. And then they brought in two more mat cards. These are the four and a half by six and a half pieces. And they put one like this and one like that. And then you could just plop down some four by six photos right on top and it makes for a very easy page. Let me turn the red one over so we can see the difference. Then they brought in some border stickers. So let me, sh I just kind of have some scraps here. They put one up here at the top, one up here, down here at the bottom. Kind of frames it in. I like that. It kind of keeps it your layout nice and tight together. And then they brought in some more um, border stickers over here, which I'm just representing with this piece of scrap. And top and bottom, you can exchange that for a border punch out, a BMC cartridge, or nothing at all. But that, I'm just showing you how they have the layout because of course I'm going to change mine up. <laughs> you probably knew that was coming. And then when they went to embellish, they put a nice size cluster right here, one up here, and then a um, nice cluster right down here. And that gave, gives us our visual triangle. Okay, so that's how they have it. So I am gonna change mine up. I'm gonna start with my first page, which will be pretty much a replica of what they did here, but I just um, wanna get a few more photos on. So here's my strip. I'm gonna keep that the same. One difference is I'm going to use the back side of one of these and in, pla in place of a journaling mat or a mat card. And so I'm going to place that just like that and I'll keep these for the other page. 
And then for my photos, like I said, I wanna get a few more on. So I already trimmed down my photos and I'm going to get four photos. I'm doing some cute puppy pictures from when my our dog was just a little puppy several years ago and we were training her at the time to be a guide dog and it was a long story but she's not a guide dog any longer and we own her now so i want to just highlight some of these photos because we don't have too many of her like in her little vest anymore i want to try and get four on here instead of two so these two these are all vertical photos so i'm just going to line them up like they had i'm just taking up more real estate of my paper and so that's how mine's gonna fit i do want to still bring in some pops of color to like they did in the original sketch so i'm going to bring in some more pattern paper from the collection and i'm going to cut each of these down to a five and a quarter by seven and a quarter this strip i'm only going to have a small amount showing here I think in the original sketch, they had about a quarter of an inch showing as well. So I'm gonna keep that pretty much the same. I'll put the pink one up here at the top. So I'm taking up a lot of room here, unlike there. So I'm gonna bring this edge and butt it right up next to the edge of the strip. That's our page design because I'm going to do the, what they did with the border stickers. I'm going to bring in some border stickers here. I'm not going to put it at the top and the bottom like they did because I don't have enough room. They had plenty of room on theirs because they only used two photos. So I'm going to bring in these little, I believe they're donuts, but in my case, they'll be dog treats and I don't want to press too hard because I think I might want to put these up on foam tape. Stick this over here on my little mat. And one at the top. And then I probably will bring in some of them on the second page. I'm gonna add some foam tape to the back side of this just to give it a little bit of height so you can see. There we go. And same thing on the other one. So I'm popping it off so that there is some definition between the cookie treats here and the treats on the icon paper because normally I don't think I would pick both of those being so similar. But again, I'm trying to use the collection and have it work for my page as well. And so um, popping it up kind of gives it that split and that definition. And let's bring in the second page. Okay, so here's my second page. I'm gonna take this paper and instead of running it horizontally, you could do that. I mean, vertically, you can run it vertically if you wanted to. I'm gonna bring it down here. Right now, I'm gonna bring it up about a quarter of an inch, just like I had over here. And then for this page, so what I did was, I should have mentioned this. This was the page from the sketch. I'm gonna have this as my second page. I like to have my more photo heavy page on this side and on this first page will be more light on photos because I only had two photos left and I needed to keep these ones in a little bit bigger format. So I cut these down. I believe these are five and a half by three and a half. And I'm gonna kind of stagger these over here. So this will be my first page with these bigger photos and then slightly smaller photos on the second page. Okay, so let's see what we had. I had this one left. Let's see if I can squeeze this in. This was a six by four, so trimming my photos down, that worked out perfectly. And it'll lay something like this. And you don't have to, there's plenty of room. If you didn't wanna put it at an angle, you can um, put it straight, you can put it over. If I had three photos, I could um, cut them down to five and a half by three and a halfs and put them across the page as well. So that's my page spread. Let's talk about titling and journaling. Journaling's easy, I'm gonna keep it right over here. I am gonna bring in um, this little dot grid. This was an older, oh, that's kind of cute too. That would actually work, wouldn't it? Huh. I didn't even know I was gonna use the blank side, but then I turned it over and it says, it's from an older Mac card and it says, loved this. That's cute. But for now, I'm gonna just go ahead and turn it. I'm gonna probably put it around here, up toward the top, so I have a little bit of room to embellish right here. So it's just a little card with some dots on it. I love to use those for journaling 
and I don't have a whole lot to say. I mean, these photos speak for themselves. She's so darn cute. <laughs> and I'm gonna bring this over here. And this way I'm tying in the little donuts or the cookie treats. So that I have my drilling area and now my title. And for that, I'm gonna scoot everything up for a minute and bring in my heart-shaped custom cutting template. This is from the Gemstone Collection and the other piece of pink paper. And I'm gonna cut out a, a heart from this paper to use it as a place to house my title. The heart works just like the other ones. You put the feet, the groove of the feet in the track. I'm just gonna use red on the outside. Red gives us the smallest, the closest cut to the template. If you wanted to take this one and then mat it, you would go with either green or blue and it would give you a nice mat. I have a nice big area right here that I could put my title on. And for my title, I already stuck these on with some small alpha stickers and it just says puppy love and it's gonna go right in here on that heart. And then I'm just gonna bring in some other pieces from the, um, the collection from the sticker sheet. I've already um, pulled them off. I put a little powder on the back so I could play around with them. So I'm just going to make a cluster area right over here with my title, over here next to my journaling card, and then probably right up here above this picture. Okay, so let's work first over here on our title. Right now I just have my title on wax paper. I do get asked that kind of often. I don't keep it on there. I will um, peel those off and stick them on one by one, just like everybody else. I don't leave the wax paper there. Um, it's just so that I can move it around and maybe I want it over here once I get my embellishments or or down or, or up. So I just kind of keep it on there till I play and then when I am ready, I peel it off. Okay, I'm gonna bring in this candy heart from the sticker sheet and slide it Right over here, I kind of want my puppy love to be touching it. And since it's brown and I'm using black letters, I'm gonna bring in this heart punch out. This is just something, some things I did find in my little embellishment. Um, when I use, punch something and don't use it, I've been really lazy lately and made this embellishment tray. And <laughs> now I just dig through there. If I want to find something, I happen to have that little heart. So perfect. And then I want to bring in some of the chocolate covered, the strawberries and the chocolate covered strawberries that were from the sticker sheet. So I thought it would be cute to bring them in over here. Probably have them dangling off a little. Move up the title. Yep, I like that. That's probably all I'm gonna do there. Now up here, I did want to bring in my five leaf punch. I feel like all the photos were taken outdoors. I want to bring in some other color, so I decided to bring in some dark green. And I'm just going to punch some leaves and see if I like it. I love using leaves to kind of house my tie, um, house my embellishments or kind of tuck them in. Kind of helps your embellishment cluster go upward. So if I'm going to have a cluster here, the leaves kind of make it go outward. So I'll, it's one of my go-to. I'm, I'm punching out. I decided I'm going to do three since I have three clusters and see if I can get three on here. There were some cute stickers. I love this one. Be mine. Looks like a little Hershey peanut butter cup. Um, let's see. I like that. And then I had this one that says, so sweet. She is, I mean, look at that face. One of these I'm popping up on foam tape. I'm trying to decide which one. <laughs> Probably the So Sweet. So it's gonna say, Be Mine and So Sweet and just have the little leaves popping out. There we go. I like that, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna come back over here and probably put, there we go. Yep, I'm gonna put some leaves right there. Bring down the title. We have leaves in every area. And so let's just put a leaf over here and I'll build up on top of that. So on this side, I'm going to bring in this one that says, I'm a sucker for you <laughs> because I am a sucker for her. <laughs> I think our whole family is kind of smitten on this little dog. 
and she's such a great dog. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it right over here, as well as another of the chocolate covered strawberries. This one has pink chocolate. And I'm just gonna decorate my journaling box a little bit. Kind of just move it around and play with it until I get it into a position that I like. And a couple little finishing touches. There are some little hearts on the sticker sheet that I thought would be perfect. I have a little red one and then put my little heart, red heart right there. And then I have one more heart, this little brown one. I think it's gonna be super cute right over here. Gonna make like a little area over here on this journaling card. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Could bring in some more gems. I mean, I can keep going, right? <laughs> but I think I'm going to call it with that one. I like it, this one a lot. I think it looks pretty good. I did um, take, this is the side that represents the sketch there. I think I did a great job of using that sketch to create my own um, layout here and brought in more photos. So um, I'm very happy about that. And then I created the, the second page, which is my actual first page when you're looking at it through the album. So let me know what you think. Thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> uh, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know, if you, have you used this paper pack? Do you like it? And have you used that sketch? All those things, I'd love to hear from you. So that's all I have for this week's Workshop Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye.